Hey everyone, in this video we're going to take a look at how you can quickly set up your actor core characters in Unreal and apply motions to them. Believe it or not, these characters are all super low resource actor core characters that are being rendered in Unreal Engine. The new actor core 2.0 now provides a big library of characters for download in addition to the tons of motions already available. Some new categories have been added that allow you to filter down to the resources you're looking for more quickly. For our meeting scene, we're going to pick this stylishly dressed guy. What's cool is that even though these characters are super low resource, they contain morph data for talking, blinking, and making facial expressions. Once we have the character selected, we can then go into the motion section and do a keyword search for talking. We can use the male filter to get motions more appropriate to our character. We're going to use this waiting talk motion. If you've already purchased the motion, it will display in your inventory. You can see that we already have our model in the actor section and the waiting talk motion is in the motion section. Once you're ready to download, then just go over and press the download button. It will then prompt you to choose a character model to retarget the motion to. If you're retargeting for your own custom created character, you'll want to make sure here that you select either the male or female dummy robot character. Since we're going to apply it to our actor core dude with the pink jacket, we can select him for best retargeting results. Next, we're presented with our download settings. Here we're going to select the facial blend shapes checkbox. Without this, your character will only be able to animate the eyes and jaw. With any 3D tool that has an auto setup plugin like Unreal Engine, you'll want to ensure that you have embed texture unchecked, as auto setup will do all that legwork within the target software. Naturally, we're selecting Unreal Engine as our target tool preset, and if you don't have the auto setup plugin installed, there's a link provided that will take you to the information page where you can learn more including video tutorials and documentation that will walk you through the process. From there, just click download, and then we can head into Unreal for the rest. If your auto setup plugin is set up properly, you should see a CC setup icon on the top toolbar, and also a CC subfolder in your content. The first step is simply to click and drag that FBX file directly into that folder, which will bring up a couple of import options. Two very important checkboxes to have here are use T0 as reference pose and import morph targets. Select import once you're ready. Once everything is imported, we can drag the FBX file into our project here and get it positioned the way we want in our scene. Then we need to import in the motion that we exported from ActorCore. We can simply click and drag that FBX file into the same character folder, and since it's a motion without a mesh or texture, we can click on Cancel when prompted for the shader setting. In the import settings for our animation, we just want to make sure that animation length is set to animated time, and that our Use Default Sample Rate checkbox is selected. Once the motion is imported, we can click on it to preview. That's really how easy it is to get quick and flawless actor core characters and motions imported into Unreal. What we want to do next is ensure that we set this as an animation asset, which makes it easy to apply motion to a character model. With our character model in the scene selected, we can just change the animation mode to Use Animation Asset. You can then select the motion we imported in, or else click and drag the motion FBX file into Anim to Play. Then when we play back, we'll have our character's body animated, however this particular motion doesn't have any facial movement. However, all actor core characters come with a full set of blend shapes, so let's take a look. If we open up our character model, you will see that there are a whole library of different blend shapes, each with their respective sliders. You can play around with each of these blend shapes to see what they do and how they affect your character's facial expression. You'll find everything here from mouth visemes to lip and cheek movements and eye blinking. Let's demonstrate how we can edit our blend shapes in Unreal. The first step we'll want to take is to add a blueprint to our actor. First, let's click on blueprint slash add script and then make sure our skeletal mesh is selected then go to Create. Next in the blueprint, I want to go to the event graph and right click to add a set morph target node, which will be used to edit the actor's morph data. We then need to add a timeline node, which will allow us to create custom animations using the blend shapes. In our timeline, we want to add a float track and just call it Blink. We're going to use this to have our character blink throughout the talking motion. Once we compile and save, we can exit back to the event graph and we'll see a new blink output on our timeline node, 
which we can connect to the value input of our set morph target node. We also want to make sure we connect the update output as well. From there, we need to copy the eye blink blend shape target name and input it to the morph target name field. Then let's enter into the timeline to set the animation. Before anything, we need to make sure to check the autoplay and loop options. What we need to do here is then right click and add keys on the timeline track and then at different points, set the value to zero or one to elicit blinking. If we do that and play back, we'll see our character blink a few times at the beginning of the motion. You can tweak these values by using the external curve you want at any time. If you find it difficult to edit body or facial animations in Unreal, you can always use iClone to modify your motions as well. For the body, you can use the Edit Motion Layer tool and take advantage of Human Eye K and FK to do detailed keyframe refinements to your motions. There are also a number of different facial animation tools, with one of the most robust and useful being the facial mocap using either your webcam or an iPhone. That's it for this quick tutorial, guys. The Actor Core to Unreal Engine pipeline is a powerful resource that will help save you tons of time on your production. I'll see you in the next video.